Hello, I'm really confused about Hyper-V. Perhaps someone could explain it to me. Sure man, I can explain it. Back in the day we had to use one computer for every operating system we wanted to use. That cost some mad cash and companies had to plan big time for upgrades. Right, that makes total sense. Don't we do that now? No, with Hyper-V the V stands for virtualization. With virtualization we can take one VFI computer and put a bunch of operating systems on one computer. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold up. How? Hyper-V is Microsoft's version of virtualization. Okay. It was released in 2008 with Server 2008. You can set up multiple servers to run on one computer. It saves the Benjamins, plus one person can manage a bunch of servers from one machine. Here, let me show you. Wow cool, so each of those is a different computer. How does that work? The virtual machines use the hardware from the main or host computer. So I guess you have to have a pretty good computer, right? Yeah man, can't be no WMP machine for US. But it must be really hard to do. No man, it's so easy even girls can do it. Dude, what the heck? Oh yeah, so you've used Hyper-V? Yeah man. I use it to test software on one of my machines. It allows me to test it to make sure it's stable before I release it into a working environment where it might otherwise cause problems. Oh, great idea. Yeah, how else do you use it, Haley? Well I have a server set up with four virtualized servers. One is running a large database of company inventory, one is a web server, and one runs our company intranet. Wow. Impressive. Yeah. A CCM server and manages application installations. It all runs on a single computer with a Xeon 8 core processor and 32 GB of RAM. It's a sweet setup. Wow, but what happens if the computer goes down? That's an excellent question, Bill. What's your solution, Haley? We have it completely replicated onto another host computer with the same setup. That way if something happens, or we have to take it down to add some storage or RAM or do maintenance, no one is impacted. So I think I get it now. I could use just a way to run lots of virtual but on computers on one computer. It saves you more hardware. Yeah man, exactly. You can also run test environments on virtual servers and even clone them to create new servers in a matter of minutes. It all sounds pretty cool. It is, man. It really is. Yeah. Well thank you for explaining it to me. I really appreciate it. No prob, man. No prob. Yeah. Anytime you want to come see my setup, let me know. We can nerd out together. Sure. Thanks again.